Hi, I'm Sam Rang. And hi, I'm Garrett Neckick with Red Hat Consulting. Hey, Garrett. So did I tell you that my client finally adopted OpenShift? It's been a wild ride. App teams are really excited about how fast they can move on the platform, but it's just kind of tiring me out. That's really great to hear, but why is it so exhausting? Well, so as these app teams are getting onboarded, our operations team has really had a hard time keeping up with the demand. And so we're having incidents come up, or we're running out of quotas, and really it's kind of impacting what could be even better an experience. Is there something better we could be doing? So it sounds like you guys could really benefit from using some monitoring solutions in order to keep track of what's going on in your cluster. Are you guys using any strategies to understand it better? So to keep track of what's going on in the cluster, we've been using quotas to let people know how much space they have, and that gives us a little bit of planning. But it doesn't help us understand what people are using real time, and so there is kind of this question of how much we're spending. Is there something better we should be doing for monitoring? So it sounds like you guys could benefit from an open source project that I've seen used by a number of Red Hat consultants called CubeOps. CubeOps gives you a dashboard view, kind of like this, where you can see all the, all the different nodes and even the pods running across those nodes so that if you do run into an issue of maybe a pod's not spinning up properly, you can see it actually coming up and down on the cluster. Uh, and it helps you just troubleshoot, get through troubleshooting faster. Wow, yeah, this would be a much better view than what we're looking at now. And I can already think of things that I'd want to customize on. Is there ways that we can add more visualizations or run back through instance to get root cause analysis? So CubeOps isn't a great historical tool. However, there is another project called Prometheus, which is a monitoring ecosystem that allows you to collect data from all around your cluster. It runs as a pod on the cluster and is able to collect data from nodes and even the OpenShift API itself. So you can really get an idea of what's going on in your cluster uh, both historically and in lifetime. Wow, that's fantastic. I think the only thing that wouldn't be the easiest part would be selling to the business that we need more infrastructure to support this platform. Uh, is there a way that I can help them get this visualization that we're getting with CubeOps with the historical time data of uh, Prometheus? So one great visualization tool is Grafana, which pulls data from the Prometheus database into a number of dashboards to help you better visualize the metrics sitting in that database. Does that sound useful? Oh, that sounds amazing. I think my business would be really excited about seeing all that kind of data real time. And my ops team would love being able to understand what's actually going on in the cluster. Uh, and I feel like with all that data, there's probably even more things we could be doing. Is that right? So there's also an alert manager component that can be really useful when your operations team needs is away from the cluster. Um, and it, again, uses that Prometheus data and sends alert messaging based off a node going down or overconsumption of your cluster. Wow, so now I've got a solution that I could run back through data, uh, do root cause analysis, get visualization for the business, and stay out ahead of incidents. Uh, is there somewhere I can go to get more information? So you can talk to your territory service manager, your local account rep, or even go to redhat.com slash services to learn more.